Welcome to another edition of The Power of Words with me, your host, Kevin Treasure, author of The Power of Words and Winner's Mentality. Our aim is to help people win in life through the power of their words. You are born to win. Amen. Welcome to another edition of The Power of Words. Amen. The Winner's Mentality with me, your host, Pastor Kevin Treasure, aka The Winner's Mentality, helping you win with your words. And today we're helping you to go forward, amen, with the power of the words that you're speaking. I'm going to be looking about what's in you is coming out of you. I'm going to say that again, what is in you will eventually come out of you. How? How? Explain yourself, Pastor. Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I'm going to say it again. He said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And I speak to many people daily. I mentor many people. Amen. I tutor many people in regards to the power of the words that they speak. And many people are having problems moving forward, having problems in their life. And most of them, really, they need to change their way they think. And when they change the way they think, they will change the way they speak. Hold tight for another edition of The Power of Words, The Winner's Mentality. The new book by author Kevin Treasure. The Power of Words, The Winner's Mentality. Out now. Consists of 21 chapters regarding the use, effects, benefits, and consequences of the words we speak and the influence they have on our lives and the lives of those around us. Discover how to hold your tongue in the most trying times. Discover the real power you possess with the words you speak. Discover how what you say has a profound effect on your life. No person desiring success should be without this book. This book will teach you how to live a victorious life, which includes 24 winner's mentality points regarding wise words, 17 winner's mentality points regarding anger, 16 reasons why saying nothing is wisdom, 10 ways to frame your future with your tongue, 6 winner's mentality points regarding good health. The book is available in paperback and ebook format. Order your copy today, priced at $9.99. Available from www.kevintreasure.com, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Apple Books, and many more. Or call 07903-940-399. The Power of Words. The Winner's Mentality. Get your copy today. We're back again with me, your host, Kevin Treasure, amen. And today we're going to dwell in, amen, to the book of Matthew. I want to help you, amen. The Bible has all the answers, amen. Life coach, Kevin Treasure, amen. Helping people win with the words that they speak. And here we have Jesus and the master, amen, having an encounter with the only people that he ever had a problem with. And they were the Pharisees. When he, it's amazing. When Jesus walked the earth, he didn't have a problem with the alcoholics, with the poor people he didn't have a problem with the tax collectors didn't have a problem with the publicans he didn't have a problem with common people the only people that jesus had a problem with were religious people who claimed to be representing god and that should speak volumes to us that's the only problem people had, jesus had a problem with religious people people that claimed to represent god but were misrepresenting them with the way that they lived and what they spoke and what they taught others so that should really be an indication to us that the only problem we're going to have a problem the only people we're going to have a problem with as christians are religious people and people that are fighting against the truth of god's word and jesus said here he said he called them hypocrites he was really upset with them because they were they were making up their own ways as usual they were they were they were um transgressing the law and then they were they were really trying to find ways of not to honor their parents here in matthew chapter 15 and he just called them hypocrites he said you're hypocrites he said as i the prophet really said it he said you people you draw near to me with your mouth but your hearts are far from me so he was telling them you people like you you can draw near with your mouth you say all the right things but really your heart is really far from me and he says you're preaching in vain the doctrines the commandments of men and when he called his multitude, he said, in verse 11, It's not that which goes out of the, goes into the mouth which defiles a man. It's that which comes out of the mouth that defiles a man. So I'll say it again. He said, in, in verse 11, he said, Not that which goes into the mouth that defiles a man. It's that which comes out of his mouth. That's what defiles a man. So when I looked into the Greek word, I like to really go deep into the study. And the Greek word defile here is spilu or spilu is spilu or spilu in greek amen and it really means to defile to spot to stain and to soil so what jesus is saying what really um 
defiles a man, what really stains a man, what leaves a, a bad sore, a bad stain on a man's life, is what he speaks, what he's been saying. Those are the things that stain your life, not what goes into you, not what you eat. I mean, a lot of people have a problem with eating certain meats and certain foods. Some people are vegan, some people are vegetarian, some people are, oh, don't eat this, don't eat that. And every man to themselves, because I'm all for healthy eating. Like God wants us to have a long life, uh, a healthy life and a long life. So I'm all for healthy eating. But Jesus is saying those things aren't going to defile you. Some people don't eat meat. Some people do eat meat. Some people eat certain types of meat. Some people eat no types of meat. Some people just eat fish. And like I said, all power to you. But Jesus is saying it's not what goes into a man's mouth that defiles him. Because many people have a problem and say, oh, you eat pork. Oh, pork's an unclean animal, X, Y, Z. And like I said, each one to their own. But Jesus said, listen, I don't have a problem with those things. What I have a problem is what comes out of a man. That's what's going to defile you. That's what's going to stain you. And then his disciples came to him privately and said, hey, we don't understand. What are you saying? Just give us an understanding. He said to them in verse 17, don't you understand that whatsoever enters in the mouth goes out into the belly and cast out into the draft? But those things which proceed out of the mouth proceed come from the heart. They come from the heart and those are the things that defile a man. So whatever's coming out of you, amen, whatever's coming out of you is what's going to defile you. So what's he saying? He said, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts and murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts and false witness and people blaspheming all these things they come from the heart and they're the things that defile a man but to eat with unwashed hands that's not really a problem to me so jesus is more concerned is what's coming out of you than what's going into you and you've got to be more concerned in what's coming out of you so if you find yourself your person is always complaining always murmuring and always complaining about oh woe is me and i don't have this and i don't have that and you always nitpicking and seeing what other people are doing and trying to put people down then there's a problem with the heart and God is saying I need you to change the way you think because when you change the way you think you're going to change the way you speak but if you're a person that's always happy and always blessing God and always praising and always just really you know happy about life and really just commending people and strengthening people encouraging people helping people to be better then that tells you the condition of your heart I tell people all the time, you know someone by what comes out of them. You know a person by what comes out of you. Some people say, well, I don't really know that person. I say, well, sit around and listen to them for the next 30 minutes. You'll soon know who you are. I don't need to know who you are. All I need to do is listen to what's coming out of you to know what kind of person you are. So if you want to start changing your life and changing the way you are as a person, you've got to start changing the inside. You've got to change the heart because when you change the heart, you'll change what comes out of the mouth. So if you find you're a person that's always angry and always upset, then there's something in the heart that needs to get out so you can be a happy person, a blessed person, so you can be a person that people want to be around. So you've got to be careful to guard your heart. The Bible says, guard your heart to, to the utmost. He says, above all things, guard your heart because out of the heart come the issues of life. So where do the issues come? The issues come out of your mouth. We know what issues you're dealing with by what's coming out of your mouth. If your person is depressed and you're upset, we know that that's the issue that you're facing in your heart. If we know that you're a person that's always angry and bitter, we know those are the issues that you're dealing with your heart. Why? Because those are the issues that are coming out of your mouth. So you've got to be careful now to guard your heart because Jesus himself said, out of the heart, out of your heart proceeds evil thoughts precedes adultery precedes murder and then the bible says a man that hates his brother is a murderer and then adultery is lustful thinking lustful words so out of the heart precedes all the negative things in a man out of your heart if the heart is negative your mouth will be negative if your mouth if your heart is positive your mouth is going to be positive so whatever's in your heart is going to come out of the mouth and he says if those things are negative those are the things that are going to defile you those are the things that are going to stain you and when something leaves a stain it leaves a mark and when it leaves a mark everybody can see it so people know who you are by what comes out of your mouth so if you want to change that and if you want to start changing the things that are coming out of your mouth you've got to start changing the things that are in your heart david said creating me a clean heart renewing me a right spirit so when our heart is right our words will be right so if you find yourself always complaining and always murmuring and all that, say, okay, God, you know what? There's a problem here. I want to be honest with myself because if for us to 
really see changes, we've got to be honest with ourselves. And you've got to look back and say, okay, I, where I am because of what I've been speaking and what I've been believing. But if I start to change what I've been believing and start believing positively, start believing positive about who I am and who God says I am and what I can do and what I can achieve and out of that positive thinking and out of that you know that mindset of wanting to win and wanting to succeed and now you start speaking like a winner because you're thinking like a winner Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so you've got to be careful David said I set a watch about my lips and a guard about my tongue so if we're really wanting to you know be careful about what we speak because the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so he's saying death at first and he said death for a reason because i truly believe as human beings we are more prone to speaking death than we are life this is why he said death and life in the power of the tongue because you've got to know listen if you're speaking death that's what you're going to get if you're speaking life that's what you're going to get and he said he that loves it you're going to eat its fruit so you're going to eat the fruit of what you've been saying so when i speak to young people and they say oh i'll never pass these exams hey guess what they're not passing their exams why because that's what they've been speaking that's what they've been believing oh i'll never get married oh i'll never get a job i'll never get a home and some of these people speak these things and they're speaking these things continually and you're putting it out there in the universe and you're wondering why your life's not changing why because death and life are in the power of the tongue now if you find yourself you're a person that's always been complaining and you're always confessing that which is negative you can start today you can start today by making the adequate changes by saying listen I need a new life I, I, I need a new direction I, I've been going in the wrong direction I'm going to pause about turn and I'm going to start going in the right direction I'm going to repent and start learning to speak that which is right and how we're going to do that by getting our heart right and when we get our heart right we can get our thoughts right when we get our thoughts right we'll get our speech right Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so he's reminding you listen it's not what goes into you that defiles you i mean if you eat the wrong thing it might make you sick but it's not going to defy you as a person in the eyes of heaven but he says what comes out of you that's what's going to stain you i mean when people see no one wants to be around an angry person proverbs says that uh, depart from an angry person no one wants to be around a person that's always complaining and down and murmuring and, and upset and always got bad things to say about other people no one wants to be around a gossiper or complain and nobody wants to be around those things because those things start to spread and before you know it they're complaining you're complaining everybody around you is complaining and before you know it no one's happy and everybody's depressed and nobody wants to be around a bunch of depressed people but if you start confessing that which is right and speaking that which is right and start really you know believing for right and speaking right and despite what you can see regardless of recession inflation petrol prices food shortages and all things that are going on in the world which can give people a reason to be upset and complain if you start being optimistic and saying you know what my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in christ jesus things are getting better and when things are getting better david said i believed therefore i've spoken you're going to speak what you believe so start believing right out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so start to speak positive start to speak what you want to see happen in your life i will own my own home i will be a landlord and not a renter and then i will have my own business and then i will start that nursery i will start and then that engineering i will start that new course i will start it and i will succeed and i will finish my course what i start i finish start to confess the positive about your life and start to do it daily 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 and i dare you for the next 30 days to start speaking positive over every area of your life i'm talking your health if you're married over your marriage and then over your children if you have any and then over your body over your mind and then over your job over what you want to see happen in your life start speaking positive amen some people call it affirmations i call it daily confessions because i'm confessing who i am i am blessed i am prosperous i am favored you start speaking positive over your life because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks hope you've enjoyed this week's session amen i just want to encourage you amen you are the sum total of the things that you're speaking if you do not like where you are start changing the way you think and start changing the way you speak you will succeed you were born to win this has been me kevin treasure aka the winner's mentality 
helping you win with your words. Stay blessed. Thank you for tuning in to the Power of Words, the Winner's Mentality. Please remember to subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. Check out our website, kevintreasure.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You are born to win.